welcome back to my channel my name is katie and i'm bringing you guys another weekly grocery haul for our family of five this week i spent right around 125 dollars and i shop at walmart i almost always grocery shop at walmart just because they have the best prices the closest to me and i'm a stay-at-home mom on a budget so i'm always looking for the best deal that i can get and um, for me, where I live, Walmart is the best bang for my buck. So if you enjoy weekly grocery hauls and meal plans, make sure to hit that red subscribe button before we go ahead and get started because I do these every week. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'll include the prices. They'll pop up on the bottom of the screen. At the end of the video, I'll show you what I have planned for our meals for the week. So let me show you what I got. Okay, starting over here. I needed some more paper plates, so I got this pack of 50. I got these brioche buns. Don't those look so good? There's six of them in there. That's gonna be for one of our dinners this week. These are for my hubby. Those are his favorite, the kettle cooked um, salt and vinegar. And I get these a lot, so if you watch my hauls, you've probably seen this before and you know that i've told you i cannot eat these like they make my mouth so raw i don't know how he does it but <laughs> those are his favorite i also got these for him these are his favorite yogurts they're the toasted coconut vanilla and um i know i talk about the ibotta app all the time but ibotta had i think a one dollar rebate for those so that was a good deal um these are our favorite muffin mixes they're so easy and they're so cheap they're less than a dollar for a package and you just have to add uh, milk to them. So I always like to get a variety. So this week I got strawberry, apple cinnamon, and the chocolate chocolate chip. So those are so good. Um, I know it's not even September yet, but <laughs> you guys know I don't do pumpkin spice, so I can't get into that. But I love peppermint mocha at Christmas time. And when I was looking on the Walmart app, I saw they had like the little bottle of it. So I figured I would get it. And I guess they were out, and so they um, substituted the big bottle for the same price. So that was a super good deal, and I have not had this since, like, last Christmassy season. So I don't care that I'm starting early this year. This is my favorite, and I am so excited. Um, and then this is my, like, go-to everyday coffee creamer, the Caramel Macchiato. And I like to get the big one because this, I, this is just my favorite. And I was out, so I got that. I also needed some more sugar. Um, I used up the rest of mine the other day making cookies, so I just needed some of that. My kids really loved these. These are the chocolate chip um, granola bars and they're dipped in chocolate. So those are like their favorite. And then my daughter requested strawberry Pop-Tarts. Um, I went ahead and got like a big container of this Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning because I buy the packets all the time for different recipes. Tons of recipes call for this. And I was like, you know, I really need to just get the bottle because I'm buying these little packets of ranch all the time. So now I have this big thing of ranch. Um, and there was also a rebate, I think for a dollar on the Ibotta app also for this. If you don't have Ibotta in my description box, I have my referral code. You should definitely sign up for it. I use it every time I go grocery shopping and um, I have earned so much cash back from doing that. It's a rebate app. And if you shop at Walmart like I do and you do um, pickup or delivery and you know you don't get a physical receipt to scan in, you can link your account um, and it, it's all digital. So, you know, I don't have to scan any receipt in whenever I do grocery pickup. Um, it just automatically, you know, gives me the rebate. So that's awesome. Um, I needed some chicken noodle soup for a recipe I'm doing. Uh, they substituted the the um, less sodium one, which is fine. Um, did you guys know that you can buy Chick-fil-A sauce like in the bottle like this? <laughs> My husband in high school and in college worked at Chick-fil-A. So he knows like everything about Chick-fil-A. He's a, you know, Chick-fil-A expert. And it's our favorite place to eat food, like for fast food. Um, and they've been selling these for a while. So we just ran out. Um, so I had to buy another one. But if you like Chick-fil-A sauce, definitely go look. Walmart has them. I think Target has them. And you can also buy these um, like at your local Chick-fil-A restaurant. And I think that they sell some of the other sauces in these bottles too. But we just love Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I also 
wanted to get this Hawaiian Sweet Baby Rays um, to try. I, I like Sweet Baby Rays, but I've never tried the Hawaiian style. But I was watching my Aunt Erica over at Dorset Doorstep. And she made um, like barbecue chicken in the crock pot using this. And so that definitely inspired me. That's going to be one of my meal ideas this week. So thanks, Aunt Erica, <laughs> stealing your idea. But this looks so good. Okay, moving on over here. Look at these rolls. These are the sweet multi-grain rolls, but oh my gosh. These look like Cheesecake Factory bread. If you guys have ever been to Cheesecake Factory, you know that they have that amazing bread that they give you. That's what these look like. So I'm really hoping that they taste like that. So I'm excited to try those out. I grabbed a frozen pizza for the kids and I got the Walmart brand, but I guess they were out. So they substituted it with this Red Baron brand, which is fine. Um, I needed a bell pepper and a white onion for a recipe, so I got those. Um, I had ordered the Sara Lee brioche bread, and I guess they were out, so they substituted it with the, <coughs> excuse me, with this bread, um, and that's fine. I was going to make French toast as one of our meals this week, so I wanted like that kind of thicker brioche bread, but this is totally fine. This is still a really thick bread. Um, so this will be fine for French toast. I'm really excited about that. Um, I got this humongous thing of 18 <laughs> smoothies. You guys know if you've watched my hauls before that my two-year-old daughter, Ellie, she is obsessed with these smoothies. She would literally eat like, or drink five a day if we let her. Um, and a lot of times I like to get the Walmart brand, but they were out. So I just went ahead and got this like huge box <laughs> of 18 for her. Um, I got this big thing, 28 bags of um, chips for the kiddos. And then you guys know I always get them these little muffins. I wanted the big box, but they were out. So they gave me two of the smaller boxes. And then look what I finally found, you guys. I have been trying to find oatmeal cream pies for a couple weeks. And they keep saying that they're out. Um, but I finally got them this week. So I'm super excited for that. You know, this is like my ultimate comfort food. Like I don't really like little like Twinkies and... I don't know. That's like my husband loves that kind of stuff, but that's just not my thing. But these, I don't know. There's just something about an oatmeal cream pie that's just like <laughs> brings you back to your childhood and it's so good. Okay, here's the rest of it, you guys. Got my lettuce like always. I get this every week. Use it every week. <laughs> I got just a little bit of turkey meat for sandwiches. Sometimes I make my own coleslaw, but I wasn't really feeling it this week. So I just got this little tub. I got this for my hubby. You guys know he loves his sparkling water. So this is strawberry. I don't know if, you've, if he's had that one before. And then I usually get him a couple of these bigger ones um, just to surprise him every week. <laughs> so this one's mandarin orange and that one is white grape. This is our favorite sliced cheese, the Sargento aged white cheddar. We like that on sandwiches and the kids just like to eat it. And then this is our favorite, mine and my husband's favorite. Actually, I mean, the kids like this too. Um, the Vermont Sharp Cheddar. Um, we like to slice this up and eat it like with pepperonis and crackers. And then I needed a bar of Sharp Cheddar for a recipe. And then I got this for my husband to take with him to work one day just to try. Um, I've gotten him these before and so he likes them. And then I got a big mega pack. That is a lot of bacon. Um, for the night that we do breakfast, I also got these for the kids. They're the little lunchable, like mini um, snack things for easy lunch or snack. And then I got a pound of ground beef. And that is everything that I got this week. Now I'm going to show you my meal plan. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> Today's Monday. We did Domino's pizza for supper. Um, I was just feeling lazy. Didn't want to cook, if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> and that's okay. Tomorrow on Tuesday, we're going to have hamburger casserole. It's my grandma's recipe, and it's so good, like ultimate comfort food, southern cooking. Wednesday, we're going to do breakfast for dinner, and I'm going to make French toast with eggs and bacon. And then Thursday, I'm going to make those um, crock pot barbecue chicken, like shred it up and then put it on sandwiches. And then Friday, we'll just eat leftovers because I'm sure we will have a lot from those meals. And then Saturday and Sunday, I didn't write them down this week, but um, we'll just do like leftovers or sandwiches or something easy, something frozen or something on Saturday. And then Sunday, you guys know, we always go out to eat after church and then we just do fend for yourself <laughs> on Sunday night. 
Okay, so that is my grocery haul this week and my meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. I also love when you guys leave me comments and I try to reply back to every single one. So if you wanna leave me a comment, I would love that. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. You guys are awesome. I love you guys and I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Don't wanna be shy